Okay, this is an introduction to how I set up uh, a Ubiquiti Bullet M2 Titanium to uh, handle my RV Wi-Fi. Now looking at this initial graphic, I'm just give you a quick kind of a roadmap of how this works. So let's say we uh, pull into the Walmart parking lot and there's a Starbucks nearby and it has Wi-Fi. And so the signal from Starbucks is reaching that uh, omnidirectional antenna there to the upper left. And which is then connected to the, uh, the Ubiquiti Bullet M2 Titanium. That is connected to a power over Ethernet injection use, injector using a, um, a shielded Cat5 cable. And that's uh, an outdoor, outdoor shielded Cat5 cable. And so that connects to, again to that uh, uh, Ubiquiti power injector. And then from the LAN port of that Ubiquiti power injector, we're using a patch cable to connect to a, um, a Wi-Fi access point that's inside the coach or inside your RV. And I have been using the Hutu uh, Travel. Um, it's a kind of a portable access point that uh, is rechargeable and also runs off of USB. And so that is actually the access point that feeds your uh, your notebook, your tablets, your phones, whatever, uh, multiple devices within inside your coach. Now the um, Bullet Titanium M2 is a high power device and uh, here we'll open, uh, do a kind of a box opening of what it looks like. This is what it, uh, how it comes and this is actually the uh, outdoor, an outdoor unit. And it has a uh, seal on the bottom there that the uh, uh, outdoor Cat5 power over Ethernet cable goes into. It goes into that uh, kind of like a packing gland and then plugs into the bottom of the, uh, the M2 device. And then you put your antenna. I used an ingenious antenna on top. And this is the power over Ethernet injector. The Cat5. Shielded Cat5 goes into the power over Ethernet, and then the small patch cable will go to the your inside wireless access point. Here it is mounted on the back of my my uh, motorhome. You can see the external uh, the Cat5 cable running down the ladder, and it runs up into the uh, electric department and gets up inside the coach. There we can see the view of the packing gland with the cable going up into it. There's the uh, ingenious omnidirectional antenna. You could use a, a directional antenna and get further reach, but I'm getting really good reach even with the omnidirectional and it's a little bit easier to deal with. Here's where the the uh, Cat5 cable comes in inside the coach and goes up and it's connected to that power over Ethernet port on the engine or uh, Ubiquiti power of Ethernet injector. There's the patch cable that runs over to the Hutu uh, inside access point and it has a the charging cable. That's USB charging cable so I'll typically just keep that plugged in and so it stays powered all the time. I have a USB port there. And for the times that I don't want to run a generator, I'm not connected to 110, I'll un use the, I'll power the power over Ethernet injector with a, an inverter. A 12 volt to 110 inverter. Now, once you've got this the hardware set up, uh, you can uh, then go in and do some setup. You have to set up the Ubiquiti, and so you log into that. And first thing you want to do is go to the system tab and just make sure see if there's any updates available, so you can get the most current software before you start anything. And then uh, once you've done that, then you go to the network tab. And uh, on the network tab, you're going to set the uh, device mode to router. And uh, you'll go past the WAN network setup and go down to the LAN network setup settings. And set, uh, I set the IP address for the device at 10.1.4.20. We set up DHCP and NAT. And then I set a range of IP addresses that the device will serve. You click uh, change. I do not click apply. And then I go to the advanced tab and uh, change the distance to zero. Again click change and, but do not click apply. Then switch to the wireless tab and then change the mode to station and at this point you can uh, choose change 
and then you will click apply. Now at this point the uh, access point is set up and so any point you log in from here on when you stop at a Walmart and you hit, pick up a Wi-Fi at a, a Starbucks, a McDonald's, an Arby's or Burger King or whatever, you'll log in and click on the wireless tab and choose select on the select button and then uh, pick the signal, uh, the wireless access uh, SSID that has the strongest signal strength that uh, Choose that and click select. And if you have a password for it, you can enter it down there in the lower lower left. And then you can click change and then apply. And you should be good to go. Some uh, uh, Wi-Fi services will have you'll have to um, you know enter in uh, that you uh, accept the terms of use and whatever, but. At this point, you should be connected.